this is my FTAM intro video. This is take two. Uh, take one apparently did not record. Um, uh, today is June 15th, 2012. I'm 35 years old, 35 and a quarter. Um, I started T two weeks ago today, and I'm scheduled to have top surgery on the 19th, which is about four days from now. Um, why am I making this video? Um, I'm making this video for, for me, for my future self, to watch um, for my kids. I've got two kids. They might be interested in seeing what I was thinking about, what I was talking about, what I was briefly like um, right around the time I started transition. They're four years old and one year old now, so there's a lot they can't um, ask me or, or understand about me now. Um, and also, I may decide to post this on YouTube um, to see if it would help other people to hear my thoughts and see what I'm doing. There have been a lot of videos that I've watched on YouTube that I've found very helpful. Um, so maybe that's something I can give back also. Um, this is my first video, so I imagine it'll be kind of long. I'm going to put a whole bunch of uh, general stuff, but I have my, my trusty piece of paper to help me stay on track. Hopefully I won't ramble too much. Uh, I'm not really used to public speaking. I'm a website developer. I'm used to talking to computers, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so a friend of mine remarked to me recently that it seems like he's kind of heard me talking about gender for a long time and uh, gender dysphoria, um, but uh, he wants to know, like, why suddenly now am I doing this? It seemed to him really sudden that I kind of talked in a general way about gender for years, for 10 years, and it seems all of a sudden that I've decided to change my name and start taking tea and schedule surgery. Um, and he's like, you know, why now? What changed? Um, it is something I've thought about for a long time. Um, I, I considered transition 10 years ago when I was uh, about 25. In January 2002, I have journal notes. Uh, I was in therapy. And I briefly considered it, and then I just, just felt too scary, too weird, too different. Um, I was afraid of hurting my family, my parents, who I'm close to. I was afraid of losing who I was um, in the community of people who knew me at that time by my name and, and the way I look and everything. I, I felt like I, I was in danger of losing myself um, and losing my, my reputation and my identity, and it just seemed too scary. So. I put it away, I, I made a different decision, I said I'm going to express my gender any way I want, I'm going to dress and cut my hair however I want, and I'm going to learn to be fine with my body as it is. Um, and I, I don't think that really worked too good for me. Um, I don't think I've really become fine with my body as it is. I guess it kind of was working okay, and um, then I got distracted, uh, got married, had a couple of kids, my partner's, my wife's father died, and that threw our family into chaos, and then we moved. So the 10 years, definitely the last five of the 10 years, were very busy doing other things. And it wasn't until after my second child was born last year, a little over a year ago, that I actually was just sitting around being with myself more. I got really depressed. I started seeing a therapist again. Uh, she put me on antidepressant medication. and we started talking about what was going on and digging into the, the box in my brain that I locked away. And we came across gender pretty quickly. And this time when talking about it, I was able to talk about what I wanted and accept what I wanted as valid. And uh, realized that if I didn't deal with this problem I buried away, then it would probably kill my marriage. And um, that's not really an acceptable option to me. Uh, so that's why now. And the reason it seems to be going so fast is I basically wanted these things for a long time. And um, once I allowed myself to want them, it was like, why wait? <sighs> um, my family, my friends, my wife have all been very accepting. I have to say the person who's given me the absolute most trouble with transition has been myself. My wife actually has said to me a couple of times over the last five years, she would say, you know, if you ever wanted to transition, I think you'd make a great boy and that would be fine with me. I'd be fine with that. I would stay with you. And I would always say, hey, well, that must mean... How long have you been here, Abba? Okay, thank you to my four-year-old for yelling under my door. Um, 
What was I talking about? Right, so my, my wife was saying that she'd be fine if I transitioned, and I was always very unaccepting of that idea. Um, but it meant that when I came to the realization that this was what I was going to do, I didn't have to worry about how she was going to react because I already knew. And so far, she's been very supportive. She's excited about everything that's going to happen, and um, she's excited to have a happier me and everything. So she's great. My parents and my friends have been great. Nobody is like, oh my god, I never saw this coming. Um, and a lot of people say, I don't really understand why you're doing this, but I love you and support you no matter what. So I've had really great support from everyone who's important to me. Uh, the one last thing I was going to say is I'm starting testosterone very slowly, I'm taking about half of the recommended dose, and I'm planning to do that for two or three months uh, in hopes that it will help my singing voice to transition well. I'm also working with a voice coach on my voice to make sure that I do my vocal exercises, do some new vocal exercises. And um, my voice is important to me. I really enjoy singing. I, I sing in my synagogue, and I sing to my kids. And, I, and I'd like to have a voice I can use, and I know it's possible for testosterone to change your voice so that you, you can't really control it, and I don't want that to happen. And I read an article, uh, a research paper, that indicates that if you, if you start testosterone slowly and ramp it up very slowly, um, it gives your larynx more time to change, and you're more likely to end up with a voice you can sing with. So I've been on a relatively small dose of testosterone for two weeks, and I expect to continue to do that for a few months. So the physical changes I want will come more slowly than some of those that I've seen on the internet, but hopefully um, the end result will be worth it. And I guess that's all I have to say for today. I'm going to stitch this video together and maybe I'll make another one. Another one.